I'm gonna tie a, another bull trout jig, a stre streamer jig. Uh, this one I call the Olive Sculpin. This is what we're gonna come out looking like. Uh, it's tied on a jig hook, uh, 90, uh, pardon me, 60 degree jig hook. So you can tie in your loop knot there. You can swing this fly. Uh, you can put it under an indicator. You can bounce it up and down. Um, really versatile hook. You can use a size four. Up, 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 up. First thing I'm gonna do, we are going to, um, and we may speed this up for the video. I'm not sure. Point is I'm gonna mark this. I like the stripes on my rabbit strip. I think it gives the appearance of motion. So we got that done. Let's throw this hook back in. Now, if we were catching 20 pound bull trout, I'd probably use a size one hook. But if we're, uh, if we're not, let's see, we're getting 20 inches. Um, This is an, if I'm getting 20 inches, uh, I'll probably use a size four. I like to use a hook size that's somewhat proportional to the fish I'm catching. I don't like it when, um, when a hook goes through a smaller trout's eye, because uh, even when it's barbless, that fish is not going to, not gonna fare well. This is a Danville's 140D thread in an olive. I would use a, a 210 if I, if I had it right handy. I don't. So I'm gonna use the 140 and it will be just fine here. So yeah. Yeah, you could, uh, fishing barbless is good, but if you've got a big old hook and a little little bitty fish, that's not a good formula. So, here's our wiggly jiggly rabbit strip tail. It's a little bit longer than I wanted, so let's go here. One of the nice things about fishing a trout micro spay rod is that you're not going like this. You're less likely to throw a uh, throw a tangle in your tail uh, because of the nature of the spay cast. You tend to get your fly just lay out straight. It's, it's behind you in the water. It lays out, uh, which is a a very, very nice thing to uh, to behold. So I'm going to use, you know, you get lost for words here sometimes. So I'm going to have some bulk in this fly. I'm going to use a craft fur. This is like a sand and olive. Um, we'll we'll get we'll make sure we get that right in the recipe. But the idea is to, now I could use a chenille of some sort here, but using this three inch craft fur brush is gonna give me more wiggle and flow, but it will not, I repeat, it will not hold a bunch of water and bulk up the weight of your fly. So it will still, even though it, 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 it really It'll fish big, but it will cast like there's a lot less material here. Okay, here's our body. Now I'm gonna be looking for some flash here. There's all sorts of things I could use. I'm gonna use a few strands of peacock Peacock, Crystal Flash. And then, 
just to get Henri. Why not? Why not get Henri? It comes to a certain point in your life when you might as well. Oh, I'm gonna throw in. Ooh. How about a little bit of copper ice wing? Lava lace ice wing. This is tricky stuff to use, but it seems like the messier it looks, the more fun it is. A couple, wind it down a couple times, wind it down a couple times, trim it a little bit. A little bit of combing there. Okay, we're gonna finish this off with a Sommerlatz UV Foxy brush. Now this is a longer piece than I want. So I'm going to trim it. This is a uh, root beer and orange. Here we go. So we got craft fur underneath, summer latch UV brush overward, ov overwards, over. I'm gonna try to make a part here so I don't wind down too many fibers when I finish this fly. Couple turns. Trim the wire, fold the wire back. Boy, this is gonna be, be it. gonna be. This is a nice, nice, nice looking streamer jig. Don't think it isn't a streamer and don't think it isn't a jig, because it's both. And your fish will typically, you know, not always, but they'll often be hooked in the upper corner of the jaw, or in not, not the corner, the upper, say a third back from the snoot. There you have it your olive sculpin bull trout streamer jig. Thank you, let's get out there.